What is going on guys? Grave here. Today we got a playlist update. Now this is one of those updates that you do not have to download. It's just a back end kind of hotfix update. We get these usually every Tuesday. And of course today is the last Tuesday or this Tuesday is the last Tuesday of 2020. This is a pretty small update. I'm assuming next week or the next we'll probably get a little bit bigger uh, kind of updates. But I would assume probably a lot of people at Treyarch are still you know, away for the holidays, not working, that kind of thing. I would guess a lot of those guys probably get off Christmas probably until the beginning of the new year. Before I get into all the details, make sure if you're not subscribed to hit the subscribe button. Uh, if you are a subscriber, make sure you have those notifications turned on. If you enjoy the content, smash the like button. And of course, check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliate here on the channel, GT Racing. Now, when it comes to Warzone, today in Warzone, there was one big change and that is uh, Rebirth Mini Royale Quads. Uh, the new playlist basically is gonna cut the map in half. You no longer have a spawn where they self-revive. Instead, you are sent to the Gulag on your first death. Now, when it comes to all the other modes, uh, they are still available. That was the only thing they did add into uh, Warzone today. Now, I do, I do know a lot of people are wondering if the DMR-14 from uh, Black Ops Cold War that is in Warzone now got nerfed. There are no changes uh, to that. Uh, Exclusive Ace did tweet out a while ago that he saw no changes after that playlist update went live. So it may be a couple weeks before that DMR-14 gets nerfed. I know a lot of people are really complaining about that D uh, DMR-14 and MAC-10 kind of combo. That's pretty much what's, uh, just what everybody's running around with right now in Warzone. And I think a lot of people are hoping that meta will change very soon. Now, when it comes to Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War multiplayer, uh, 3v3 gunfight snipers only is the new mode that was added in today, but still available to play is Face Off, Raid 24-7, Nuketown Holiday 24-7, 2v2 Gunfight, and Prop Hunt. I'm assuming next Tuesday, Nuketown will probably go back to its normal look. It probably won't be the holiday theme, unless they just decide to leave two versions of Nuketown in the game, which I wouldn't really expect them to do. I guess they could. But like I said, the only thing that was new today was 3v3 Gunfight Snipers only. And before the video ends here, Treyarch did tweet out one Really cool thing today. Everyone's going to get double XP. They said, let's end 2020 with a bang. So starting December the 31st at 10 a.m. Pacific time and running to January the 4th, 10 a.m. Pacific time, double XP will be available pretty much all weekend long for Black Ops, Cold War, and Warzone. Uh, of course, everyone's trying to grind and get to level 1000 before season one ends. So, of course, that will help out. Uh, of course, that will kind of help us along the way with that double XP this weekend. Of course, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.